As I got into elementary school, about fifth grade, I met a friend. He was gang affiliated. He told me I threw up gang signs. I was throwing up Southside. I started seeing this lifestyle. I started watching gang movies. When I started watching these movies, I wanted to be just like that. I want to be like that. But to me, it wasn't a fantasy. It was real. I want to become just like that. I started acting that way. I want to be a gangster. I want to start gang banging. I was in prison for um, six years, nine months total. I was sentenced to 70 months, and I picked up 10 more months in there. So when I got out, um, I stayed at home for a little bit. But my homies from my neighborhood started coming through, calling me up, what's up, let's go party, let's go do this. And I started doing that. It got worse. I started smoking meth again. And from there, it just, it went downhill. I was broken. My spirit was broken. I was lost. I was confused. My life was stagnant. I didn't know where to go at all. I was dead inside. Just when I thought that I was the man, that I had it all, the homies, the money, the drugs, the females, the parties, the cars, the trap houses, all that came to an end. All of it came to an end. When all that came to an end, there was nobody to be found. When he first came into the program, he was angry. And you could see that. And wherever he um, saw any slight disrespect or uh, dealing with authority, he would uh, get mad, get upset. And that has gone away. Just by coming here, speaking to people, the type of people that started speaking into my life, going to church, the love, that's when I started feeling the presence of God, His mercy, His grace, His love, the fellowship, all came in. And I started feeling it, it became alive in me. People started speaking into my life. So you know what, Luis, you're about something. You know what, Luis, God loves you. He cares about you. He's gonna make you something. He's gonna make you become the man that you need to be and the father you need to be for your son. With, um people in his life right now, people in this program, the counseling that he's taking, he's growing. And I just, I just love watching that. And every time he comes through the door, I'm normally downstairs. And when he comes in from the store where he's working right now, that big old smile. <laughs> so yeah, that's a um, vast difference from the frown, that angry look <laughs> that I saw over a year ago. I was working at Homeless Services for about 17 months, working with the homeless. At the time, I didn't know what God was doing in my life, but now I do. He taught me how to serve, how to love on people, not to cast judgment on people. You know what I mean? And by serving others, I found out that happiness comes in by serving others, caring about people. Your heart opens up with compassion. You're able to love, be there for them, pray for people. That's what God was doing in my life. Now I love Jesus. I'm on fire with God.